Good morning. Good morning. From the self-isolating recording studio. <laughs> so, Graham is home because it's the school holidays. Woohoo! But we're also at home rather more than we planned because he also got pinged on track and trace. Boo. Boo. <laughs> so, uh, here we are. Uh, we are uh, in the middle of recording the songs for Sunday. Um, because we were going to do live music on Sunday and now, patiently, we're not. So there you go. So welcome to the front room. <laughs> and hello Barbara. There's ah. at, least, at least somebody there this I morning. So. Excellent. We'll see who else comes along in the next few minutes. Um, the camera angle is a bit weird because you're currently propped up on the amplifier. Ready for the music. Ah, yes, which we have turned off, so there's not a hum. Ah. Morning Joy. Yes, I think you're there as well. Excellent. Um, we'll see who else arrives in the next couple of minutes, because the numbers are, are ticking up on the little counter slowly. Oh, there we go. That's Barbara. It gives you 101 messages it for does, the same thing. Yeah, that. So, uh, yeah. I hope you are all well. And if you haven't been in a crowded space, you won't have been pinned on track and trace. <laughs> or with children. Or with children. Uh, oh, yes. the irony. Oh, the irony. Never um, mind. Never mind. And um, those of us who, who stayed up and watched the agony that is English football <laughs> are no doubt rejoicing this morning. Ah, good have... morning, Brenda. Morning. More rejoicing because we didn't have to go to penalties. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> no, I got to go to bed earlier than I expected. <laughs> this was a good thing. Brilliant. So I'm going to do the um, Iona Liturgy because uh, it's Thursday. That way I know what day of the week we're on. Um, and when we get to it, we're going to have Psalm 115, um, which Graham's going to read this morning. So we're going to divide the duties between us. So I'm going to take a, a moment of quiet um, and uh, then um, lead us through. And I've only got one sheet of paper, so Graham sure. and I've got to share. I think we can cope with that. I think we can. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all, all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful to live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. And Lord, we do praise you for all the good things that we appreciate in our fairly safe lives we uh, we are aware that we have so many blessings lord that uh, many other people do not have that we have homes and loving families many of us that we can enjoy the freedom of the countryside around us that whilst we may need to, to work voluntarily or in employment, we also get time to relax. We know where our next meal is coming from. And we thank you and praise you for all of those gifts. Help us, Lord, to appreciate them. And whilst we recognise in God's presence the gifts he gives us, we also recognise where we fall short. Holy God, maker of all, have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. us. Jesus Christ, servant of the poor, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Holy Spirit, breath of life, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. And so in silence we confess our faults and admit our frailties.
before God with, with the people of God, I confess to my brokenness, to the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive us, Christ renew us, and the Spirit enable us to grow in love. Move among us, O God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Excuse me. Make our hearts clean within us. Renew us in mind and in spirit. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. And Lord, we do pray for those known to us who need God's help at this time and perhaps for those elements of our lives where we are calling upon the Lord for wisdom, for guidance, for strength. We pray particularly for um, those areas of the world where conflict um, within and between communities, be they communities of tribe or faith, between countries, where the struggle for power inflicts pain on the struggle to live. Lord, we pray for your peace to be visited upon all those who, through the greed for power and money, inflict pain on others. And so we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we, we celebrate, celebrate the, the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. So I'm going to get Graham to read Psalm 115 with us. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory, for the sake of your loving mercy and truth. Why should the nation say, Where is now their God? As for our God, he is in heaven, he does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes have they but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses have they but cannot smell, they have hands but cannot feel, and feet have they but cannot walk. Not a whisper do they make from their throats. Those who make them shall become like them, and so will all who put their trust in them. But you, Israel, put your trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. 
he is their help and their shield. You that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us and he will bless us. May he bless the house of Israel. May he bless the house of Aaron. May he bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great together. May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth he has entrusted to his children. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor those gone down into silence, but we will bless the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Alleluia. It's a lovely um, song of praise, isn't it? But it's also got some quite deep home truths there, particularly about um, those who focus on, as it terms it here, idols of silver and gold. And um, I wonder what we make idols of and who we make idols of. And actually, probably at the moment, it's very easy to make idols of our um, leading or favourite sports people. And I don't just mean the football team. Um, mm. But we have to remember that, that people are human and they're, um, I'm thinking of, of Federer losing last night as well, um, that uh, you know, our, our skills um, are at their height perhaps for a time and we need to use them wisely and not actually make um, an idol of uh, the skills we have or the skills that others have, um, but actually uh, focus on God's presence with us and reach out to those who might want uh, or need to have a better knowledge of God's presence with them. I uh, caught a brief, a bit of a brief interview with um, Raheem Sterling a couple of days ago and he was talking about how faith has been very important in his family um, and I know there are other Christian um, leading sports people who um, are beginning to uh, get their voice um, heard about their faith rather than uh, their sporting skills and actually that's really important for them um, as well as for us that they are able to uh, focus on God's presence with them rather than feel they're being um, turned into some sort of idol that is just um, a, a, a cardboard cutout, if you like, of uh, who it is they really are. So perhaps we can uh, pray for our uh, Christian sports people, uh, particularly at this time, and actually uh, pray for them to be a witness, but also to have uh, courage in their own faith to be themselves um, and, and uh, not to, to feel too much the pressure of being idolised um, by so many. So, for the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, Thanks be to God. And so we do remember in prayer um, all those who feel um, pressure from being idolised in some way or another, um, be they sports people or, or in any other sphere of life. We pray that we too might not fall into that trap of um, idolising others or making an idol of some particular um, skill that we might have. We pray too for those witnessing to your 
love, your grace, your forgiveness. And we remember Derek on mission this week and look forward to hearing what he might have to share with us on Sunday. We pray too for the leadership of the world, of this nation in particular, that we might in humility remember that we are blessed with riches, be they financial or in things like um, scientific research and our ability to access vaccines that give us a measure of freedom. Help us and all people to use their freedoms wisely. And for the leaders of wealthy nations to make available those uh, medical interventions, not just vaccines, but lots of other things, that people in um, less developed countries really need, and to do so um, at reasonable cost. We give thanks for all who care for others. they in um, the medical profession, caring profession, those who educate, encourage, teach not just in school but in all sorts of other spheres of life as well, things like music and in sport, encouraging people to be the best they can be, to manage themselves, to grow in self-control as well as the other the fruit of the Spirit. We remember also those known to us who have asked for prayer. We remember especially little uh, Noah, Gary, um, Chris and Pete, Lorraine and Dion, Adrian and Sean, Joan and John, Barbara Ann, Patricia, Molly and Sam, Little Ruby, Jeremy, Daniel and Lawrence, Brian and Beryl, Ellen, Judy, Margaret and Norman, Stephen, Anne, Judy. We pray for healing and comfort for each of them. And we remember those who have lost loved ones in recent weeks. For Liz and her family, For Andrew and Sylvia's family. We pray for Jed, Andrew and the rest of the family and for another friend of ours called Judy who, whose husband died last night. Give comfort, Lord, that each might trust that their loved one now rests with you. 
that they might know your presence. That they might be held in the palm of your hands and supported by those around them who can be the hands and feet of your love. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Christ, you are within each of us. It's not just the interior of the walls in which we live, it's our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with hands. We are your body. If every wall should crumble and every church decay, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you in the mystery look out with compassion on the world. Yet we bless you for the place in which we find ourselves today, for your directing of us, your redeeming of us, and your indwelling. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need. As we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice, rejoice and, be and be glad, glad in it. it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that, that cost, cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We, we will seek, seek peace and pursue it. it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, community holy, holy and one. So it's been really good to have you online. Oh, hi Mandy, you're there as well now. Sorry about the phone call that just came in. I'd better go off and explore what that was and uh, hope you all have good days, go well and God bless. Bye bye now.